Hello everyone, uh, I'm Luan from Michigan State University. Today I'm going to present our work title, This Intention Representation Learning Game for post invariant Phase Recognition. So post variance is a challenge in object recognition. Therefore, post invariant representation is, is very important for robots. For example, given multiple images of the same would be helpful for person re-identification. The same thing applies for generic object recognition like cars. In this work, we will focus on both invariant face recognition, but the idea is applicable for generic object recognition. There are two live prior work for both invariant face recognition, including face frontalization and representation learning. For face frontalization, more of the previous work can only produce blurry face or can only work with near frontal face image. For representation learning, uh, one of the most close work is invert graphic network, but they learn the invariant representation in synthetic data by using bare training sample would it differ in only one variant, so that is not suitable for unstructured in the wide data. Also, um, some other related work is can only handle one single input image. They don't take into account the case when they have multiple input of the same subject. So in this work, we propose this entanglement representation learning game for uh, both invariant fair recognition. Given multiple images of the same subject, our, uh, which can come from surveillance camera, for example, our idea again can learn a unified identity representation would be helpful for recognition purpose. Also, it can also synthesize multiple view of the, of the same person with, with, different, with different both code. It have helpful for law enforcement practice for identified suspect. Our idea again is built upon generated adversarial network would be formulated at a a minimum game between generator and discriminator. The again is different with conventional gain in multiple ways. First of all, the, uh, instead of taking the noisy at the input, it takes the phase image act at the input. Also, the again, we also add the discriminator, the identity classification task for the discriminator so that the generated image will preserve the identity. The generator is structured as uh, encoder and decoder, where the feature representation app act connecting between them. In order to disentangle both variants from app act, we also include the post code C to control the target of the post uh, post phase. Or similarly, we also have a post classification task in order to control the post of the rotated image. Here, the noisy is to you to model the intra-subject variation for synthetic image. In summary, the again is ten conventional again in multiple novel ways. Uh, for training, the again follow alternating training schedule between generator and decorator at conventional again. When training the decorator, the decorator is back to card inputs. When the input is real image, it will try, the discriminator will try to classify it as real with label one, and also correctly classify the identity and the pose. When the input is fake image, the uh, the expects is back to classify it as the synthetic image with label zero, and we ignore the identity and the pose of the synthetic face. When training the generator. The generator try to synthesize the image such that this will classify it as real and have the same uh, identity with the original face image and the postcode EYT is specified by the postcode C. Up to this point, the again can process a single input image. What if we have multiple images of the same subject? Here we propose multiple image the again to fuse all image to produce a unique feature. The same G encoder will be applied to all of the input image. In addition to extract the feature app act, we also estimate the confidence coefficient omega. 
the field feature up on image is e weighted every up on feature using the way omega. The field feature then also concatenate with the both code and the noise to synthesize phase similar to single image D again. Note that in here we do not have any direct supervision on Omega because it's very difficult for a user to specify Omega for the face image. We only have an indirect supervision in the hope that the G, uh, G encoder will assign higher Omega for frontal high quality face with or with lower uh, Omega for side view or blurry face. Even without any direct supervision on cohesion omega, D again is still able to learn to assign more weight to image with better quality to show the effectiveness of our omega as an image quality estimator. We plot the distribution of all omega in IJBA dataset. We show face image in four different both groups. As you can see, it's clear that uh, image uh, with high coefficient is mostly frontal with high resolution. Meanwhile, in opposite side, images are in extreme bow and are in low resolution. To sum up, our D again model can serve three different purposes. We use both G encoder and decoder for image synthesis. With only G encoder, the feature of X can be used for face recognition with any distant metric. In this work, we simply use cosine distance. Finally, we may use omega as image quality estimator. It can help to reduce the number of poor image during uh, enrollment, or also help to fuse feature during testing. In both case, it will help improve the face recognition performance. We evaluate our D again on multiple benchmark dataset the CFP celebrity frontal to profile, define verification protocol, matching frontal to frontal, or frontal to profile image. In this data set, we, uh, mean what we have similar performance in frontal to frontal. Meanwhile, we improve about 1.7% in frontal to profile verification compared to the current state of art. Another popular uh, benchmark data set is IJBA. In this dataset, it's defined template to template matching, where each template is a collection of image and video frame of the same person. We also st achieve state of art in own comparison. Next, I will show the again ability in image synthesis. The first experiment is doing interpolation in different vectors. In this case, it both co C. During training, we only provide discrete postcode, for example, face in every 15 degree in multiply. However, by interpolating between nearby postcode, we can generate continuous and novel face. A feature of interpolation, given two feature vectors from two different input image, we can also interpolate between two features. Uh, as a result, this image show a smooth transition from a male to a female, and the smoothness of the transition so that the representation effect is a meaningful one. Here, by interpolation between two noise vectors, we can create intra-subject variation in the synthesized image. Finally, we present a phase rotation result on benchmark dataset. This is the input image in CFP dataset. This is a very challenging case where the phase in extreme bow. And this is our synthetic result. As you can see, this is very similar to the crowd image in terms of identity. And this is the more result in CFP dataset. We believe that this is the first work can successfully frontalize phase image with extreme bow rotation. Besides frontalization, we can also synthesize face image in multiple bows. For the full uh, comparison, we, you can access to our project website for more comparison. 
and this is the fertilization result on ICBA data set. We saw the input image in the first row and their fertilization in the second row. In the last column, we saw the image for, from the fuse feature better with aggregate, aggregate information from all the input image. Is it clear that the fuse synthetic image is better than every single one of them? Also, the coefficient omega so in the left top left corner of each input image, it clearly indicates a phase image quality. In some case, when we have a very low resolution phase image, it can also try to do super resolution on the phase. One good example is the, is the last image in of other person. When even when we have in extreme spot, we get uh, the eye of the person is occluded. So the eye of the synthetic is very bad, but we, we can see the leaf of the synthesized image is very similar to the, the crowd shoot image. At conclusion, our learned representation is both generative and decumulative. And this is the first work can successfully frontalize a shimbo in the white face image. And we also propose a novel way to fill multiple in the white face of the same subject into one unit representation. Let's conclude my talk. Thank you for your attention.